welcome aboard. And I was so sorry to learn of the delay. I know you should have joined us in Dubai, Jebel Ali port last week. And unfortunately you were delayed somewhat, but fear not. Here you are joining us in Singapore, Jurong, and I am so happy to have you on board with us. And fear not, this is a six month world tour and you are in for the cruise of your life. We offer and promise to show you the most beautiful sights this world has to offer. And as our VIP, you will be riding in the most executive and luxurious suite we have on board. With that in mind, could I offer you one of our very fresh patisseries? These were made first thing this morning and personal recommendation, the chocolate souffle cake. It, 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 kind, of, it kind of screams pick me considering it's maybe four or five times larger than everything else, but take as many as you like, please. It's my pleasure. And of course, perhaps something to wash the cake down with. Now, of course, we have almost any concoction of drink that you could imagine. My personal recommendation would be our 33 year aged Craig Alki. Now this is a single malt and only 1500 bottles have been made. The 31 year Craig Alki actually won best malt in the world in 2017. This is to strengthen their position with a 33 year old. Of course, let me pour you a drink. Now, the 33 year old is what we would call a muscular whiskey. It has a, an exotic fruit and a full body flavor. smell is absolutely delightful. Please. We would recommend no ice with the Craig Alecky, at least with a single malt of that age. But if you choose, we are happy to oblige. I can tell by the reaction. It has an unbelievable flavor to it. Yes, because it is limited edition, obviously the, the cost of the whiskey itself is um, well, far more expensive than you would expect to find in a supermarket, for example. Well, depending on where you come from in the world, a bottle would set you back about 2,000 pounds, 2,300 euros, and about two thousand six seven hundred dollars. Yes, we have four bottles on board, and you have first options. And if you ever would like a drink, please let us know. Now, I think we need to uh, present you with your freebies. Articulate as a brand is now synonymous with extravagant and exclusive free gifts as part of their packages. If you were ever to fly one of our 
first class airlines you might have found yourself with a switch and a pair of Bose headphones maybe if you were to take the first class train line you might find um, a laptop or something of that kind however on articulate crews we have partnered with a luxury headphone manufacturer by the name of Cocoon now the first thing to note about Cocoon of course a sleeping mask now you will have read that the articulate cruises are centered around relaxation about our clientele having a restorative and invigorating sleep every night and to help with that we offer you the cocoons now these are yours to keep they're yours to take away and we'd encourage you to wear them as you traverse the ship it's not considered antisocial said it's, it's encouraged they are incredibly comfortable the sound is unparalleled they have noise cancelling even the way the bands slide and the product oozes that premium quality not only is the sound exceptional only is the noise cancelling remarkable not only are they extraordinarily comfortable but they come with a free app that unlike many subscription services is a one-time issue you buy the headphones and the app is free and everything contained within the app is always free and the app is chocked full of useful applications and sound bites to help you sleep which actually pairs perfectly with our second freebie it is the seven T Pro from OnePlus this is the OnePlus 7T Pro it's the culmination of all our design and engineering efforts and crafted for those who like us always strive for the very best now we have taken the liberty of pre-installing the cocoon app for you and i can give you a quick uh, example of what i mean let's just pop your headphones on for you And I have a little mic under my lapel, so you can still hear me. And they're exceptionally comfortable, yes? Good, good. Now, the Cocoon app. Bring you this screen here. And as you can see, it really is stacked full of guided meditations, white noise, pink noise, brown noise, um, musics, and the guided meditations are detailed and there are a lot of them. But not only does it come with the guided meditation, sound effects, the music, it also has soundscapes and these are my personal favorites. Let me give you an example of crackling woods that's amazing right and how about the meadow the 
Mm -hmm. I'll turn it off for you. I can see your eyes getting a little bit heavy already, so we'll pop it off for it just now. But the app itself actually monitors as you sleep. So not only are you able to, to track your sleep and understand what works for you, the app will also tailor what it's offering. It understands what works, what doesn't, can even lower the volume as you're getting closer to sleep. It's remarkably intelligent. And while these are yours to keep, if you're ever interested in buying one for a friend or family, you'll actually find a 10% discount code on the tablet in your room. There's a little link in the description of the, the tablet. It'll get right to it. And you can make someone very happy. But these are yours and I think you're really going to like them. I use them every night to fall asleep too, and uh, even even out with, without the app, uh, listening to something like ASMR with these headphones, blissful sleep, blissful. Now, let's move on and talk about the room which you'll be staying in. Can I offer you another cake, by the way? Now, as I said, you are one of our VIPs, but not only are you a VIP, you are staying in our Golden Pearl suite. Now, I think to give you the, the full flavor of this room, if you just want to watch the, the monitor behind me, I'll get you uh, checked in and uh, we can take you from there, okay? Welcome to the Golden Pearl, currently the largest suit on any commercial cruise liner. The room features a large living area, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, balcony and hot tub, and can be found on the highest floor of the ship, providing the most panoramic of views. Each bedroom features a waterfall shower, each bedroom a super king size bed, ensuring a good night's sleep. Here at Arctic Lake Cruise, we want you to relax and sleep well. And for those times where you just want to shut the world away, simply flick the switch and roll up the automatic shutter. The Golden Pearl is exclusivity, luxury, and we invite you to savor every moment with us. Thank you. Welcome back. Yes, it is remarkable. And the jacuzzi on the balcony, the views unlike anything you'll find on any other cruise ship because you're literally on the top floor and the balcony is enormous. I'm not sure if you've ever been on a cruise before, but um, space on a cruise ship, even one as enormously large as ours, is at a premium. So when you're looking at a, a two bedroom suite with a balcony with your own jacuzzi, um, you know that you're writing executive, which is what we aim to provide. Now, as I said, with the cocoons, um, relaxation is at the very center of what Articulate Cruise is delivering and what we are here to provide to you. It isn't just something that we work toward. It's an absolute promise. We want you heading to bed every night without any concern of being able to fall asleep. Your eyes will close cocoons will be playing something incredibly relaxing and you'll drift off into the most wonderful sleep. Now, you've seen the room, so let's, let's get you there as quickly as possible, okay? While you are on board, I'm about to issue you with your swipe card. Um, so you are our VIP. 
try and wear this or at least have it on your person at all time not only for identification purposes but um, the card allows you into some of our more exclusive areas of the ship for example uh, if you were in one of the suites you have access to our concierge lounge and a concierge lounge is just um, it's a place it's a little haven away from everything you find some very big comfy leather chairs a barista that serves the most flavorsome coffee you will ever ever find and as a reminder um, since you are VIP everything is all-inclusive you will not be paying a penny while you are on board your food all your beverages everything is included right down to your excursions uh, any treatments that you'd like to see on board I know that we've got some scheduled for you for this week everything is included and of course I encourage you to take advantage of that and I will be your butler just uh, pick up the phone in your room and ask for Matt and you'll find me uh, I'll not never more than 30 seconds from your room should you need anything at all okay good now so yeah if you could just pop on your lanyard Now, I mentioned some of the more exclusive parts of the ship. You have the concierge lounge as an example. However, the golden and black pearl suites have access to what I, I describe as an oasis. Okay, it is the executive deck. And the executive deck is a pool, sauna, steam room has a little library in one corner, barista in one corner, your gym portion in the other corner. It's very comfy chairs, um, double swinging beds, a retractable roof that can open and close with whatever you desire. It's, it's something that has to be seen to be believed. The marble pillars are exquisitely decorated, handmade. And again, the room just has, it always has a, a very faint scent of lavender. It's a, it's a beautiful place just to, to spend 15, 20 minutes just to, to find yourself. So again, you'll need to create your pass to access the executive deck. Okay, good. Okay. Now, as part of your pack, I'll issue you one of our menus. Now, think of the menu as, at least for a VIP, nothing more than a guide. A suggestion, if you will, of some of the things that you might want to consider eating and drinking. Because sometimes, you know, when a waiter or a waiting staff come to you and say, what would you like to drink? You're like, I'm, I'm not sure. And you default to any, anything you would order ordinarily. We encourage you to explore here. We have some of the finest alcohol, some of the finest soft drinks. Everything is served with premium in mind. Okay. And again, this is just a, a small list, a small suggestion. Some fresh juices, mocktails, and on the following pages, you see a list of our cocktails, some of our whiskies, our cognacs. I will, no, you will not see the 33 year old Craig Alkey listed here because it's reserved exclusively for the black and golden pearl suite users. The good news for you, not that I've, I don't think you could get through that many bottles of the golden pearl, sorry, of the Craig Alkey, but supposing you could, the Black Pearl is actually unoccupied for at least the next two months. And if you're able to get through five bottles of Craig Alecky by then, we can restock it in the, the third port. <laughs> yes, no problem. I shouldn't really be saying that because it's extraordinarily expensive. But for me, you are my priority. I want to ensure that you have a fulfilling 
and a memorable experience here on Articulate Cruise. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I just have your pack to issue you. Now your pack contains a map of the ship. Now when I say a map, it's actually a almost paper thin tablet that will act as a little GPS. So wherever you are, it will update live with your location on the ship. And if you want to go to anywhere specifically, you can type in where you want to go or select from a drop down menu and it will help you navigate and it will talk directly to your cocoons. Another reason not to take them off really. And again, it's not considered antisocial. The entire cruise is focused around you. Of course, if you want to have a chat with somebody, feel free. But we see a lot of our clientele just keeping themselves to themselves and chilling out, not having to make small talk that cruises are kind of synonymous with. Um, as well as your tablet map, you will also find a list of our excursions and some of our treatments that we offer on the boat. Now we see that the ship is enormous and we have a shopping mall. <laughs> we have several pools, a cinema, gym, two gyms actually. Um, we have six restaurants, um, four of which are a la carte. Okay. Now I do know that you have this week booked. Yes, I think you have our barber the day after tomorrow. Yes. And tomorrow you have your luxury tasting. Okay. Or we, we can reschedule it for tonight, whatever you like. What I would recommend perhaps is maybe slipping in an express massage. You went through a lot, let's be honest. Maybe just a, a nice kind of relaxing and restorative massage to get you, get you in the spirit of, of peace and tranquility. I'll have it organized for in a couple of hours. You can get settled in. See, once you pass security, your bags will be taken to your room and they'll be there waiting for you. And as a reminder, the room is chock full of everything that you could ever hope to find in home entertainment system. It has the rainfall shower, the jacuzzi, um, Netflix, um, Hulu, Wavo, every, everything, any entertainment you could really think of. We've thought about it. We even have a DVD player in there, just a trip down memory lane. Uh, there's a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, and of course your PC in there as well, uh, and as well as your tablet. We like to think we've thought of just about everything, but if there is something that is missing, please again, just give Matt a call. Sure. Yes. So if we have your luxury tasting, your barber, and we also have the soundscape booked. Yes, for the, the Friday. The soundscape is a, such a, an, an unforgettable experience. If uh, you're listening with a, a good set of headphones, um, the sound engineer is, he's a wizard. Some of the sounds he's able to create and reproduce, really um, very, very interesting. Okay. Okay. I said I don't want to keep you for too long. Thank you so much for joining us on Articulate Cruises. And from me, I really do wish you the most remarkable, unforgettable, and fulfilling experiences. You'll be seeing the sights. You'll be flying in a helicopter down to the Grand Canyon with champagne and strawberries. You'll be visiting the Pisa, the Louvre. Um, we'll still be stopping back in Dubai. You get to see the Burj Khalif. Burj Khalifa is... is as also the fountains that sit at the base of the Burj Khalifa. I don't know how fountains can be so enthralling, but they are, especially with some kind of dramatic music playing. Unforgettable. Absolutely. The pyramids, of course, you'll see. Um, there's so much. Six months worth of content for you to get through. And we'll be with you every step of the way. Okay. I don't want to keep you any further. Please enjoy yourself. 
and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Hello. A very special welcome. Now, from what I've been told, you are our VIP. Yes, you've literally just checked in today. Well, again, a very special welcome, a very warm welcome aboard. And I'm so happy and so glad that you've decided to pay us a visit at the very beginning of your trip. Now, obviously, as a, a masseuse and um, beautician, I, it's, it's important to me, it's an integral part of who I am that we take care of ourselves and our bodies. And I, again, every treatment that you receive from us is included in your package. So I would encourage you to make full use of that. Come and see us here in the salon at least once a week. Come and see us every day. Start the day with a massage. Finish the day with a, a nice facial. There's still a bit of a taboo for all genders regarding pampering ourselves, taking care of ourselves. And here, that's left at the door. Because here, everything is just relaxation, relaxation. So since you're coming to see us at the very beginning, at the very start, we can set the tone for the rest of your trip. Now, even from the way you're stood, I can tell you've maybe had a stressful week. I think from our colleagues had mentioned you were meant to join us in Dubai and were delayed by a week. That in itself can be quite a stressful and a quite a, an anxious period to endure. Whenever we have a change to plans, it has an impact to our body and to our minds. Okay, so here we like to kind of reset to bring the relaxation up, the anxiety and the stress way down to zero. As part of our VIP package, of course you'll be drinking only the finest of waters, which is our Fiji mountain water. Let's crack open a bottle for you. And we like to serve our water with a slice of fresh lemon. And you can smell how fresh the lemon is. If you could just drink that before we get started. And I will ask you to drink the whole glass, okay? I know that can be a little bit uh, challenging for some people. Drinking water is still uh, still isn't part of enough people's daily routine. Our body is predominantly water. Why not give it the one thing it's made of? Makes sense, right? So I'll outline what we'll be taking you through today. And I said, I'm glad to see you wearing the cocoons, which is good. I, I don't need access to, to your ears during this. Feel free to sit with them, set a soundscape if you like, um, listen to some ASMR. You might have heard The Room Tour by ASMR Glow. Look her up on YouTube. So relaxing to listen to, really. You no, know, we encourage our clientele to, to sit and just zone out during our sessions. But what I'll be doing is um, 
quick facial cleanse to really kind of strip away we put so much stuff onto our faces and again this isn't uh, regardless of gender male or female lumbar it doesn't matter if it's not makeup it's even moisturizer if it's not moisturizer it's um, sun cream which is important but at the end of the day our body and our skin have pores that like to breathe so let's cleanse it hydrate it moisturize it and at the end again we'll be stripping that the, the excess moisture away what the body doesn't absorb it doesn't need and that's a, a rule that you can essentially live by okay anything beyond what it doesn't absorb is waste and we are here to make sure you're relaxed and at peace and feeling happy with the water well done so the first thing we'll be doing very simple now I only work exclusively with Egyptian cotton now, that might seem like a unusual thing to hear but I've been working on cruise ships most of my professional life and you would be surprised how many skimp on the types of cotton that we use and quite often what you use isn't 100% cotton and anything else that it's mixed with can be acting as an irritant for the skin so it's something that we insist this is 100% Egyptian cotton and it is the softest and most welcoming for the skin so we'll have to start with a simple cleanse and I'll actually be working two pads each of the cheeks forehead and we're using the cleanser sparingly And you can close your eyes. You can tell me how your day was. That's a joke, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nobody comes to articulate cruises to talk. skin is actually remarkably clean you can always tell within the first couple of seconds of of a cleanse that it tells you a lot about someone's life even the day they're having the week they've been having sometimes even the year <laughs> let's be honest this year is uh, different the cocoons just working around the outside good, good. okay as I said your skin is actually really quite clean already which always nice to see now next we'll be applying 
an Elemis face wash. Now this is uh, quite light. It could be used as a daily wash if, if you chose to. But the smell. Delicious. It's not for eating, but um, this can be used sparingly. It's literally just a pea size amount. I'm going just to work this in with the fingers. And your skin is eating that up, which is good. from Elmas is it's it's light it's gentle on the skin but very effective so we've cleansed we've given your face we've applied a quick wash and we're just going to just wipe this away Obviously now you're at the very beginning of your cruise and I know that with you being on the executive Golden Pearl package, that's six months you'll be with us and I can tell you for absolute certainty you are in for the time of your life. Your very best memories in life will be made right here with us. Good. Some of the things you're going to see, some of the foods you're going to try. You have the luxury tasting coming up, right? If you get to try the 24-month uh, age Compta cheese, or even the, the salmon roll, just things that we don't really have access to on a day-to-day -day basis for a few reasons one because they're incredibly expensive but they can be quite difficult to source especially the 24 month comet I'm not sure if you've ever tried it before but there is more flavor in a cube of that cheese than uh, in any other cheese added together I've ever <laughs> Not to, I don't want to, to build expectations too high, but you should go in there expecting premium and expecting um, luxury. Okay. Now, I'm going to apply just a little moisturizer. And we'll give you a nice shoulder neck massage. And we have a really super effective um, aloe gel to use in the massage. And the aloe will really kind of penetrate right into the skin, right into your body, and really help encourage that idea of relaxation. Okay? And really help bring about a sense of peace and, and of well being. Because 
life is a series of moments, you want to make sure that every moment you have is as special and as memorable as possible. And the easiest way to do that is to approach life with a well-balanced mind and a healthy body. And that's something, again, that sits as a, a core pillar for us in everything that we try to accomplish in Articulate Spa. And again, I'm, I'm very grateful that you've chosen to spend some time with us to allow us the opportunity to do so. Okay. Now this is a, a VLCC moisturizer. It's also got a little bit of um, an SPF in it as well. And again, we're using tiny amount because this is quite a rich product. It goes a very long way. And we're just working it gently into the skin. And this is taking to your skin very well. Your cheeks are already looking really well cared for. Your nose there is just looks well moisturized, looks healthy. And again, we actually finish with a, what I call a water cleanse. And this will just take off anything that the body doesn't need. I think it's a mistake that a lot of salons make. A lot of human beings make when they're applying moisturizers and makeups. And they just put too much of everything on. It's actually uh, almost entirely water-based, and I use it just to set the face. yet but if you can wake up or if you choose to wake up early in the mornings you can see the fog the fog descending on the ship sometimes and as soon as uh, the sun comes up it chases it away but uh, the fog and the gulls and the morning can be a very beautiful time while cruising what we're here for. Your skin is glowing. Now when you walk into a room, when you're walking down one of our very many corridors on the ship, people are going to the scenes and they are just really happy. They're really happy. And why wouldn't you be staying in the Golden Pearl? Okay, so we might look fantastic, at least in our face, but we want the body to feel the same. So we're going to give you a really, I don't want to say a deep tissue massage because there'll be no pain, but an effective massage. Okay. And I said we'll be using an aloe based gel. And aloe isn't really something that people have associated. isn't something people have really associated with. This is quite a, a thick paste. We don't need a lot of this again. We can 
be used quite sparingly. But for me, aloe is one of my most effective products. what you uh, do uh, either for a living or do you study or bees, whatever it is you are stressed maybe it's one of these things that you don't really feel stressed but your body is certainly bearing the brunt so this could be in combination of obviously being late by a, or a week later than we had anticipated to have you. And that's entirely understandable, but sometimes stress is an unavoidable part of life. And in the neck, but I've seen fewer knots on a yacht <laughs> when you're all week. Actually, I mean all year, but okay, we're making some, some progress. And you'll see that the aloe is still well covered. Doesn't need a lot, and it goes a very, very long way. Okay, I'm just going to, to move down to the, the bicep and the triceps. Regardless of whether uh, whether you lift or um, maybe you do press ups, maybe you just sit and you're gaming all day. But yeah, there's quite a lot of tension in the arms. Not quite as bad as the shoulders. Take a look at the back. Do you find yourself um, suffering from any back pains, upper or lower perhaps? Okay, and do you spend fairly large amounts of time sitting in front of a desk or PC? Mm, 
the upper portion of your back which is symptomatic of having a lot of stress in your shoulders a lot of times Do the the calves and the legs as well if you're walking around a busy airport and rushing for buses and trains and planes. Okay, we don't have as much tension in the legs, which is good. The calves are, are quite tight. I wasn't exercising voluntarily or involuntarily just recently but that's okay we'll work this out no problem that's what we're here for now let's move up the leg a little bit to the, the thigh and really work the thigh as well the thigh is a very large muscle group of muscles actually that again can be quite troublesome and store knots and tension just work this out. Good. Very good. Now we'll swap to the other side. Okay. When, if, if and when you're exercising or running or playing sports, do you have a dominant leg? Because this leg has a little bit more tension than the other leg. Okay, a lot more actually. Um, there we go. Let's work through that. Okay, I'm actually working the knuckles here. Just good. Very good. Yeah, it's always important to remember that. We're here to relax. Good. Just working that through. Good. Very good. It's good to reload a little bit on the elbow. see it, it really is really quite potent. Okay, come back to this thigh and the quads. Now, of course, our excursions are entirely optional, but if you're going to be taking some of our excursions, you have to make sure that your legs, the muscles of your legs are being well cared for and you might find if it's the first time kind of walking at distance for quite a while, you might be a little bit stiff in the morning. So feel free to come and see us after your walk at night. We can massage that black to cast it out. Even if you don't know it's there, you can build. And you don't want to be waking up with stiff legs in the morning. better. 
Okay, now your both legs are feeling much, much healthier, much happier, which is good. We like to see tangible results when we're working. Very good. I just want to check on the shoulders again. Shoulders feel much, much more at peace than they did prior. Still a little bit of tension. Okay. There we go. We've unraveled these knots. I actually find it quite therapeutic tackling these knots because I know that quite often they're they're storing and holding pain and by unraveling them you're again you're feeling something very tangible you're feeling like oh, I was so I'm so tightly coiled before my massage and after I feel like I'm loose as a pile of rubber bands which is very loose. Good. Now I we'll just like to finish with the hands. And all I'll be doing is just circling the finger and pulling, pulling, pulling. But before that, I just want to I'll be working the thumb into the palm. Speaking of the palm, Obviously, because you joined us in Singapore, not Dubai. The first night of the cruise comes with a stay in one of the hotels on the Palm in Dubai. It's the Atlantis. I actually sent my sister and her best friend there for a couple nights once. And it is the most incredible place. The views from, from every room. No, I got it free as part of the job. Um, I was busy that weekend and I said, listen, why don't you come over and, and use it? And I enjoyed it very much. Maybe I'll get to take my fiance there one day. <laughs> I save up enough. <laughs> no, and that wasn't the hint for a tip. Uh, as you'll already have read in your, your leaflet by now, your fee for the ship has fees included our wage is reflected to incorporate that so regardless of how exemplary you may find a service to be you are literally we cannot accept tips and it's nice for us to work in that knowing that we should already be delivering excellence you should be receiving excellence from us and from, as a cruiser myself, it's so nice not to have to think, oh, how much do I have to tip them? Just take the product and leave. Simple as that. Yeah. And it also means that we can go above and beyond without it seeming like we're doing it just for a tip. We want you to have the most incredible experience. We want you to, to be happy from the bottom of my heart. I want you to be happy and to have a really nice time with us, to eat some delicious food, have a nice relaxing massage. Your hands actually, uh, while being incredibly soft, are quite tight as well, but How do you feel? I honestly am 
I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, you look uh, a million dollars, euros, pounds, and any other currency that you might want to incorporate. It's my absolute pleasure. As I said, feel free to come and see us every day if you choose. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a massage every day. You can have a massage every couple of days, at least once every week. Um, again, we can treat the skin. We can, uh, you might not believe it, but a nice pedicure or manicure. Not to paint, but just to keep the nails healthy. We offer a, a variety of services and I encourage you to utilize them to the fullest. Okay. Before you go though, I'd like you to drink another full glass of the Fiji water, please. Stop up your glass there. Good time. And the reason for the water is because when we receive a, a massage, even just kind of shoulders and upper back, we did the legs as well, but it can uh, release a, a chemical into the body that, or chemicals into the body that kind of help with that binding, that kind of knot we were talking about. So you just want to make sure that you're cleansing that with lots of water and flushing out those impurities, okay? They're not harmful in any way, you're not in any danger, but uh, we want them out of the body. We don't want them to kind of reform anywhere else. It doesn't really work like that, but drink your water regardless, okay? Fantastic. And yes, the Fiji water is about as tasty as water it can get. It has a very, very subtle flavor to it. It's um, full of minerals and nutrients as well. And tastes clean, which is a strange thing to say, but that's what it tastes like, right? Yes. Okay, again, feel free just to sit and lay back for as long as you like. Um, when you're ready, just get up and uh, and go and enjoy the rest of the boat because you have a lot of exploring to do. Okay, thank you and take care. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'd like to start by thanking you for choosing to share a little bit of your very precious cruising time with us here today in our luxury tasting booth. Now, as I understand it, you have no idea what we'll be eating and feasting on today, which is exactly how we would have it. We have, in a very traditional sense, two serving boards, the savory and the sweet, and in keeping with tradition, we will, of course, be starting with the savory. Now, in our luxury tasting sessions, we have a rather uh, unusual format in that we sample the foods together. We each have a board, and uh, from extensive research and experience, we found that people find it more comforting to eat as a, as a pair instead of eating individually. So. I will be sampling and talking you through each board and giving you a, an idea of why we chose that specific food. Everything on the plate has justification and a deep reason, a deep thought behind it before being selected specifically for the board. And we have some of the most delectable treats for you today. I'm very excited to get started. In addition to each platter, there will also be an extra luxury added uh, individually and separately to each platter. It'll have its own little introduction because their exclusivity warrants such an introduction. That sounds a little bit ambiguous, but it'll become clearer once we get started. Okay, so I will present to you the savory board, but before doing so, just like to make sure that you are hydrated and I'll be pouring you a glass of our very specially sourced Finnish mineral water 
Now this is uh, bottled on source next to a rather famous resort called Kaxlauten Arctic Resort. It's probably best known for its classic loose and wooden lodges. They have a spring right next to uh, their resort and we pay um, a pretty sum to have that water shipped exclusively to us. You won't find that water outside of the park anywhere but with us. It is the most refreshing and invigorating water on the planet as far as we are concerned at our articulate cruise. Now, it'll be served in a whiskey glass actually. And please drink this quite liberally. It's, it's recommendation to take a small sip maybe after every tasting but sometimes we have a flavor that we really want to save uh, and, and to enjoy so it's it's entirely up to yourself I won't make any recommendations as to how often you drink um, because this is your experience and you do what feels right for you uh, with a little bit of guidance from me okay now It's not tradition to cheers a non-alcoholic drink. Mm. Invigorating, <laughs> as expected. Okay. I think we've, uh, or I have spoken enough. Let's get on to the testing. So, what do we have here? smell from the board is unbelievable unbelievable we'll go around the board and sample and then just before we try our first treat I'll introduce this uh, extra exclusivity that I mentioned okay now here we have the truffled, truffled salami. This is a black truffle base mixed in with a very, very, very tasty, very Moorish salami. To the next, we have a Shropshire blue. Now this is quite a tangy cheese. Not everyone enjoys a blue cheese, but I can guarantee you will enjoy this. Its neighbor is our smoked duck. Now this is a succulent and juicy duck breast that is cooked to absolute perfection. Duck is one of, uh, if not the trickiest meat to cook effectively. And needless to say, our Michelin chefs know exactly how to handle duck. Then, we move on to uh, perhaps my most favorite little dish we have on the savory platter at least. And it's, um, it comes as a surprise, but it is a veal chorizo. A veal chorizo. Remarkably well balanced and we'll get to it. Turning the table around. In the corner. Here we have our garlic soft bread and we might want to mix the cheese or even perhaps some of the meats with the, the garlic shortbread. Uh, this, this soft bread rather. <laughs> soft bread is it's a very intense flavor. It's heavily garlic. Um, a little bit of uh, oregano in there. Again delicious. And this is um, extra special. This is a Gloucestershire herb infused mature cheddar. Now, cheddar isn't seen as an exclusive cheese by any means, but the process in which we infuse the flavors make this uh, one of our um, most favorite. Not my personal favorite, but it goes down very, very well. Next, we have the most expensive part of the platter, 
save for the exclusive item. This is a 24 month age Comte. It's flown in from France and I can't wait for you to try it. This is finished off and paired quite nicely with a black current reduction. Again, you can dip any of these dishes into the, the black current reduction. Uh, they all go very, very well. Here we have our Nairn oat cakes. Nairn being in Scotland, if you've ever visited, they make the very best oat cakes. And trust me, again, when I say how they fit so much flavor into an oat cake, I have no idea. So that's our savory board. Now for the mystery item that you are going to like. A lot of people talk about trying this one day and never get around to it. Because A, the cost, and B, availability. Here we have, courtesy of Gourmet House, wild salmon caviar. Now, we will leave the pot for yourself. As you can see, you have your own pot. <laughs> but um, generally what we do is just crack the seal. doesn't smell like people expect. The salmon caviar isn't as fishy as some of the caviars, but is fishier than something like a beluga. We actually removed the beluga from the offering because people were finding it to be a little bit of a disappointment. Um, the beluga is maybe one of the most exclusive caviars, but it lacks decadence and it lacks flair as far as what we were concerned. I'm just going to spoon a few of uh, a few of our caviar. You can hear the sound. One, two, one bite. And again, the caviar, while being delicious. It is very strong and I would advise us to leave the caviar till the last. It is divine <laughs> but can be overbearing so we'll leave it till the end and we can start wherever you choose. But if I was to make a recommendation I think we have to start It has a spice kick to it. The initial flavor is full of that smoky, mm, that smoky salami taste that you would associate with salami. And it's followed and accompanied very well by the black truffle. And if you're experiencing black truffle for the first time, we have to have another slice, right? Mm. There are 18, albeit very subtle, but 18 individual spices used to create our salami. And while you maybe couldn't individually taste all 18, there's a rainbow flavor. And it looks deceivingly simple. Deceivingly simple, but it's beautiful. A bit of water, by all means. Now you can use, um, of course we issue the knife and the fork. We 
tend to eat it as finger food with the exception of the caviar which we'll use a spoon for but you can use it however you like stepping around the board we get to our Shropshire Blue now here I like to mix this with the Nairn oat cake Traditionally, you might want to apply a butter or a margarine to the oat cake for the butt, for the, the blue. But the blue is so creamy and so well balanced that I think it's a bit of a sin to water it down with a, a butter. Now, you can be as greedy with this as you like. I am more in the habit of taking the half, layering it on to one of our oat cakes and diving into heaven. Oh. Now immediately, people are surprised, and I can see the surprise in your face. There are two things that hit us. They are very, very pronounced. This is a subtle blue. Blue can be known for being quite a brash and quite bold cheese. This is subtle. It's toned down with the cream. The second surprise is that people that don't like cheese find themselves loving our Shropshire blue. Now this... I really... Uh, I need to take another bite, as I'm sure you do too. There's a flavor profile in the Shropshire that, again, isn't really attributed to traditional blue cheese, but that's why it's selected. It's a treat to the senses in every sense of the word. I have to finish my half, I'm afraid. <laughs> so much flavor. It's rich. It's deeply creamy. Magnificent. And if you choose, you can maybe dip a small square of the, the Nairn oat cake into our reduction. But that's your choice. Generally speaking, I save it for the little soft bread that we have. Mm. Water is probably advisable at this point. Mm. The blue is as fulfilling as it is Satisfying. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shall we proceed? Good. Now we've had something very creamy, something a little bit spicy. What I would suggest now is something smoky and fulfilling. melts in the mouth it's juicy it's perfectly cooked and it's effortless to eat mm. excuse me the smoke is subtle it's not overbearing on the meat and I'm not a huge smoked fan. I can find that we lose a lot of the <coughs> the delicacy of the duck with smoking, but our smoke is, uh, it's there and it's present, but it's not overbearing. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Everything I know is very, very exciting. 
and it's difficult to know to show any kind of restraint. But we must. Well, I do. You don't have to. Okay. I think next we'll go on to the Gloucester. Hang on, I'll pair the Gloucester, little cube of Gloucester, with our shortbread water. Mm. Now the garlic mixes so well with the herb of the Gloucester. It's almost like a seamless blend. The two very distinct flavors coming together. And the Gloucester is just a very Moorish cheese. Again, it's a Gloucester cheddar, which is unusual. But... Mm. Really one of the surprising treats for me in our offering. Remarkable. Now, should I maybe take a sip of water, regain the composure, more talking to myself, I will bring us to the 24 month Comte. This is always exciting for me because as far as cheeses go, this is the creme de la creme. Both the shortcake and oat cake work particularly well. For me, I love the oat cake. So I'm gonna load my square. And before I introduce the black currant reduction, There is so much to talk about. Not one mouthful. Right? Comte is a very complex cheese. In the 24 month period, in a humorous sort of way, gives the cheese time to find itself. There's a lot going on, but it's all delicious. There's a full body full bodiness to the cheese that you'd probably expect in a blue but it's uh, cultivated masterfully into the Comte and I would even recommend having a square by itself it's a beautiful flavor masterful Maybe take one of your cakes and just dip it into the uh, the jelly. This is precarious at best. There we go. Mm. It has a beautiful sweetness that you would expect is quite typical of a, a reduction. but it cleanses the palate surprisingly well for our uh, our finale the caviar salmon roll caviar while not being the most uh, expensive by any means and as for me the most and it's a great entry point for caviar. So it's, the fish flavor is stronger in the salmon caviar, but when you're eating caviar, that's generally what you expect. I said we removed the beluga because it was a disappointment, especially for fish fans. Now, I will, I suggest you use the spoon for this one. I, Personally, would take a, an oat cake. 
I think they pair very, very well. And it's just a case of loading it up. flavor to it. It's salty. It's engaging. I need to load up a little bit more of this. It is my absolute favorite and I'm not even a huge fish fan. Uh, my family can, can correlate to that. But the salmon caviar is like nothing uh, I've ever tasted as far as uh, sea fish is concerned. seafood rather. Mm. You'll notice, especially on the second bite, a butteriness, a salted butter with a very subtle hint of the ocean. Mm. Remarkable. <laughs> I am very, very glad to hear you say that. Please, and take your time. Of course. There's a lot, there's a lot of talking points about the savory board. I think we have um, a habit of overlooking some of the more subtle flavors. I think it's a bit of a sin to call the uh, veal chorizo subtle, but in comparison, it's easy to lose amongst um, so many classics. I can see you hungrily eyeing the dessert platter. If you're ready, water again is recommended. Yes, let us proceed. Okay. Feast your eyes on this beauty. Now again, there are a lot of talking points here. So we'll go around the board, introduce you to the platter. So at the top, we have, be very, very precarious here. Let me turn the table around. Valhora, 66% Velvet Dark. Now, we've run varieties of this from the 99% Slovakian chocolate with a Chilean touch, but we've toned it down to a 66%. Now this retains the quality of the traditional quality of the dark chocolate but it also takes on the ease of access of a, of a milk of, an, of a lighter chocolate it is extraordinarily smooth and velvety and almost feels like you're you're um, savoring silk you should maybe call it that let me let them use it for free stepping around we have a chocolate chip and and these came out of the oven not 35 minutes ago, um, maybe 40 minutes ago. Two minutes before I came, <laughs> before I came here. Uh, very, very fresh. Very, very tasty. Made with love and we use these baby coconuts from the Philippines that have a flavor like no other coconut. I promise you that. We have two fingers of the French press puff pastry and if you look very closely they have a sheen to them that is a sugar cane syrup glaze and the sweetness of the glaze complements the 
the lack of sweetness very well in the puff pastry again excellently cooked dusted with just a little bit of powdered sugar just a little bit next we have one trying to escape is our flapjack our syrup flapjacks and we'll start with these because they're my favorite next and you'll notice we have only one of the Vinci Cremino and we have one of these because they are very very rich there's a lot of sugar and we found that we purposely limited how many we put on the board because myself included we always want to have another but they are very very filling and uh, very very sweet so we found that limiting it to one if you want more of these or anything else on any of the boards taken to your room give room service a call eat as much as you like it's part of your executive package but for the purposes of the tasting we do limit it to a single use next we have the honeycomb milk dip now the honeycomb is sweet it's quite bitey quite fiery very crunchy but very very satisfying finally we have now depending on your pronunciation this is a pandora bell almond bell almond and pistachio honey nougat or nugget nougat or nugget whatever you like for me we'll say nugget going forward rich but uh, inviting more subtle perhaps than some of its neighbors quite chewy we'll maybe leave this till last now you're wondering we have a gap on our table what is this exclusive item so we had caviar for the savory now this is going to seem like an anticlimax until you taste it this is Devon's double cream and the reason this is so exclusive is because the process and the time it takes to create this little bottle you wouldn't believe and it's flown in specially so it's from the Devon cream company and they only make a couple of these every year because there's so much effort that goes into making it crack the seal smell that right now I'll just put a little bit onto our plate that the jar is yours to keep and again I said to you prior that you can order as much of anything as you like we only store 10 of these on board uh, if you want to order all 10 then by all means uh, we can restock at the next port but they are difficult to come by and they only make a finite amount each year okay You'll notice it's unlike maybe any cream you've ever seen before and that it's quite solid this is a Devon cream well often known as a clotted cream but for me it pairs perfectly well with the, uh, the French puff pastry or the cookies okay let us start with the flapjack syrup blended with the oats mm. to me that is the perfect sweet treat it combines everything you need richness it's sweet a little bit sticky 
and entirely satisfying. a secret ingredient in our flapjacks that chef refused to share not because he's afraid of releasing his secret but he said the mystery adds to the flavor maybe there is no mystery maybe there is no secret flavor but I did hear under a very reliable source is that it's vinegar I have no idea why vinegar would help maybe it helps with the bonding I'm not sure but on good authority I was told it might be vinegar I'm not sure I think next we'll move on to one of the honeycombs a little bit of water of course it's a very good idea no matter how much I drink of it the water never ever grows old. <laughs> okay. Now these will make light quite a loud crunch. <laughs> now unlike maybe you've had something like a crunchy and you expect this to taste like a crunchy but it's so much more the flavor profile is so much more complex there's only a subtlety of the chocolate it's a very thin layer and it complements the, the detail in the honeycomb and it's a blossom hill honey remarkable very very tasty yes <laughs> you're enjoying it I think maybe we skip back to the Cremino. Now, <clears throat> this is going to sound quite strange, but these don't look quite as polished as you might expect. They're a layered chocolate, but there can always be slight imperfections. If you can see, there's a very slight imperfection there. But there's three very distinct flavors. The top is a double cream milk chocolate. The center is a white whip. layer is a velvet milk chocolate and it all comes together in this ensemble of deliciousness is that not the most beautiful chocolate you have ever tasted glad to hear it. Cremino's are, you can see why we only put one on the board. They're very domineering, very, very rich, but so tasty. <laughs> right? Okay. I only have a few more to go, so let's savor the experience. I think it's time we put a little bit of our cream on one of these cookies. Good. And this is just a case of biting in. Mm. 
Is that not the most divine combination you've ever tasted? I don't know what they do to this cream, but you could put this on vegetables and it would taste delectable. You should look into that. Make it for a very expensive vegetable platter, but very tasty. Beautiful. Mm. The cookie itself is well balanced, soft, a little bit of crunch from the chocolate chip, which are made with Belgian chocolate, of course. Mm. But paired with the cream. a little bit more on than I anticipated, but... Mm. Oh. A richness again. And the cream is almost overwhelmingly tasty. <laughs> Beautiful. Think maybe a little water and I would suggest we move on to the puff pastry for a change of pace okay now you can include the, the cream with the puff pastry Given that we just had it with the cookie, I would suggest not. But please load it up by all means. You have a whole bottle of it to use. Now this is fluffy and flaky. Hmm. It's a very beautiful and very natural comparison. The polar opposite of the creamy cookie to the sugary but flaky French pastry. Mm. And the sugar glaze, the perfect complement. Mm. Again, puff pastry, not only is it difficult to make, but it's exceptionally challenging to cook correctly without burning and scoring because it burns very easily and a fun fact as talented as our chefs are about 30 percent of this is had to is wasted essentially the staff eat it <laughs> because there'll be a slight burn on the outer edges it's very difficult to cook perfection but we only serve perfection so we keep making it until it's right Happily, nothing goes to waste. Our staff eat very well. Okay, I think maybe we'll have a, a nugget and then finish with the, uh, the chocolate. And this is quite chewy. But as far as nugget goes, mm, it melts in the mouth. And there's almost a, from the bell almond, mm. with the pistachio honey, there's almost a very, very subtle wave of menthol. It's very refreshing. It's a beautiful, beautiful taste. <clears throat> I'll be rushing back for a second. Mm. Totally unexpected bursting with flavor beautiful mm. enormously refreshing mm. i eat this once a week that's how often we do these sessions and it still surprises me every time that very subtle mintiness mm. And I'm not even a huge meat fan. But again, the way it's blended and, and molded into the nugget. Okay. 
our final pairing. I can promise you this will be the most luxurious, most delicious, and most satisfying chocolate you've ever, ever eaten. You're met with something entirely unexpected. There's none of the immediate bitterness of a dark chocolate. But it doesn't disappoint those hoping for the bitterness. There's a bite, but it's a little bit sweeter, a little bit more direct, actually not, not so, it's a little more direct in what it's trying to do. It's a pleasing chocolate. <laughs> I have to try another cube. It's a flavor your taste buds almost don't want to let go of. They're sort of nursing it like a student might, might nurse the, the same pint all night. And that's the image it concocts. It's not wanting to let go because it's so flavorsome. Mm. Wow. Right? <laughs> you have that look of somebody who is in the midst of um, a taste sensation. It's my pleasure. Cheers, even though it's all cold. Wow. How did you find that? There's no rush. I said, this is yours to keep. And if there's, I'll provide you with an itemized list of everything that was on both boards. Um, and if there's anything you require more of, and if you want both boards again, let us know. Um, we can have it delivered to your room uh, within the hour. All the food is, of course, the freshest um, that it can possibly be. <laughs> the smile on your face, it says it all. It really does. I'm very glad you had a good time. It means the world to me that our passion for food um, is delivered in a, an accessible and maybe a fun and slightly relaxing method. I appreciate that we have a unique platform here to share um, new and exciting and some traditional foods. And that isn't lost on me. And again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, choosing to share your time with us and uh, on a little tasting adventure. Adventure. Yes. Mm. I said if there's anything else that you require, if you're somehow still hungry, we can load up these boards again. Um, I probably won't be able to partake. I'm at bursting as it is. <laughs> but like I said, we can have anything uh, delivered to your room. The cream I have is to die for. It's so, 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 so good. It really is. It's uh, Fulfilling, I think, is the right word. Yes. Thank you very much. It's been my absolute pleasure. And I do wish you well on your remaining stay with us here at Cruise Articulate. Thank you. And see you next time. 16, 14, 22. Hi. Welcome to Articulate Cut. And you are right on time. Let me extend the warmest of welcome both on board and to our barber shop. I believe you are, yes, okay, you have the articulate package booked. Could I just see your ID, please? Well, you are one of our VIPs. And again, let me re-emphasize how happy we are to have you with us today. Now, typically, we see most of our footfall as walk-in, uh, just clients looking for tidy up to the beard or getting their hair colored or styled. Um, in this case, we have the hot towel shave package prepared for you, and I think you're really going to like it. It's uh, 
something quite special. We take you through a series of stages and with relaxation at its core, um, like relaxation uh, essentially acts as a pillar to your entire experience here on the cruise uh, and with us. Okay. How long have you been here so far? Okay. It's your first stop. Very, very happy to see you and let me start off. Uh, I think it's important that we set the tone. So not only do we want to relax, style, cut and perfect perfection, because you are perfect, but want to make sure that you're healthy and refreshed. I'd like to kick things off with, because you are VIP, we uh, offer you the Fiji water. And this is essentially rainwater that's collected that's allowed to run through the Fiji mountain uh, Fiji mountains and uh, produces the most crystal clear and uh, mineral rich water you could imagine okay I'd also invite you to sample some of our United Arab Emirates dates and these come courtesy of a supplier we have in Dubai please do help yourself okay, hydration is absolutely key <laughs> and the dates themselves they are delicious even if you you perhaps wouldn't ordinarily try dates They have a very, very slight sweetened glaze. Nothing artificial. Everything that we serve you is natural and homegrown, essentially. The water is just a little bit below room temperature, so it's chilled, but it's not cold. All right. Fiji water tastes like nothing, like no other water product. I don't care where you are maybe with the exception of uh, the Finnish water. If you uh, head way up to the north near uh, Greenland. Again, very, very clear mineral rich water. Perfect. Now, please do take a seat. And if you want another date, I can see you enjoying that. A lot of people don't like dates, or at least they think they don't like dates. And they come along and try our homegrown dates. Uh, and they're delicious, right? Delicious. Good. Okay, let me talk you through what we have in store for you today. All right. We're going to start off with the beard. I'm going to finish by giving you a nice kind of chop up, maybe style, set the fringe, maybe put in the parting, maybe just take a bit of length off the hair. Okay. But as well as the hot towel shave, we're also going to prepare the skin. And we have three applications to add to the skin. And we'll start off by applying an aloe and cucumber glaze. And the glaze essentially is painted on. It's painted on to the skin and allowed for the upper epidermis to absorb the nutrients and the goodness of the aloe healing and restorative properties. Um, then we'll very, very gently dab it away. And we'll apply shaving foam the foam of course is italian what else would it be and the foam is essentially uh we're mixing and um, aerating the foam with just a little bit of hot water nice and fluffy apply it to the beard it'll tidy you up get you shaved um and we'll finish off with a moisturizing layer okay and then i said well we'll get to the hair and get you styled up and looking uh perfect for tonight's meal meals i think are, are one of the my most enjoyable experiences of the cruise life always having that choice and that level of uh, exclusivity almost it's food is just otherworldly it's, it's it's delicious it's absolutely delicious especially the king prawns if you're a seafood fan if not um take a look at the start and if you're vegetarian, you have to try, you have to try the sweet potato ash. It's how they infuse the flavor to that. I have no idea. Anyway, I digress. 
little bit of water in you. Good. Now, as I mentioned, this is an aloe glaze. It's a very, very small mixture. I'm actually just painting this on. Okay. And we're just painting this across the forehead. Cheeks. We're not loading the brush. Actually painting into the facial hair even if you feel like you, you might not have that much if you feel like you've got a lot um, but the, the glaze doesn't harden uh, so we're not going to be peeling it off it literally is a, a wipe away product aloe at its core is mostly water based uh, as is the cucumber that it's mixed with Just along the moustache area there Ask you very politely if you could just dip your hand back just a little bit. You just to get to the neck properly. Ordinarily, I would be tilting your head, but my hands are otherwise engaged. Good. Very good. I'm just gonna working the, the cheek. the glaze will be left for a few minutes by the skin to absorb and really make the most of uh, really nutrient fueled it'll allow the skin to heal quicker reduces the sign of aging it's essentially a miracle glaze we like to call it as um, it's infusing uh, properties of the aloe and the cucumber and you wake up tomorrow feeling fresh faced you'll notice that when you smile there's no immediate uh, reaction to the i have crow's feet <laughs> i should probably use this glaze myself it is a very expensive product that again we're making uh, not on the ship but a parent company of ours is creating the serum for us uh, and you can't buy this anywhere any store it literally is exclusive to articulate crows and uh, believe me it's sought after <laughs> i've been offered insane amounts of money actually for uh, the recipe which I don't know and uh, the bottle which I could sell but I love my job so anyway all right I'm gonna let that sit what I'd like to do in the interim is just give you a little hand massage and here. what I'm going to be doing is just running thumb forefinger along your fingers and essentially just uh, aerating your little joints so if you hear a crack it's actually just gas leaving uh, the joints which is good and it's uh, entirely painless and quite relaxing good good <laughs> okay you have one hand that's infinitely more active than the other, it seems. <laughs> I'm the same, don't worry. <laughs> Good. I'm just going to push your wrist back a little bit. Good. And the other wrist. Good. Okay. Let's take a little look here. Okay. It's nice. It's nice. All right, now I'm just going to wipe on very very gently good I said it's essentially uh, it's uh, heavily water based so this 
can absorb what it needs and uh, the gel is just left to uh, to wipe away and the neck very good okay now as part of the articulate package now as part of the articulate package we'll actually be presenting you with your own monster and sun shaving kit and in here you have your badger's brush for the foam your own straight razor a face refreshing spray that we actually apply at the end of the session to set the face almost um, it's just like a final finish for again the upper epidermis of the skin to just sit and really kind of lock in all the goodness um you also find a beard comb and a beard brush and they're okay so everything we'll be using here today belongs to you and you'll be taking it away with you okay we also have a beard gel um or a beard oil uh, that for, for me i find incredibly helpful for keeping the beard oiled and healthy looking Okay, good. So, the first thing we'll be doing is applying a little bit of what I call beard balm. And the beard balm is used as a primer. You usually apply it prior to the shaving foam and obviously apply it prior to the cut itself. of shapes this is a product that I absolutely encourage and believe in and it smells heavenly it really does it's pine wood you can smell with the massages into the chin Again, this is going to act as a primer. A primer. For the shaving foam. Good. Now, instead of letting this sit, actually, I'll be combing and then brushing this through. Again, courtesy of Monsters and Sons. Good. 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 Now let's dip your chip back a little bit. Good. Very good. Very good. Now, the brush. The comb is, I guess, essentially preparing the hairs. And the brush is actually going to work the beard of balm into the beard. Good. Good. And a lot of people find this really quite relaxing. <laughs> Before we apply the soap, we'll be applying a quite a thick towel. And 
and the towel will just again reinforce what the beard balm is doing. This is served at warmth. This is over the mustache, doubled over the chin and the neck. Okay. absorb that steam, that heat, and it blends with the oil. And perhaps perfectly for the soap, or rather the foam. prepared and applied. We have a pre-mixed bowl, a slight amount of liquid you can maybe see. It's rose water. The reason we add it to the water, the water really helps with uh, again further softening the bristle. And makes for a much smoother leather. This is a very delicate mix because you don't often have as much water. shampoo for the beard. And you can smell the parasso and the rose water coming together in the most fantastic union. As a barber, uh, this might sound odd, but being able to work with premium products such as this, knowing that it's going to give the absolute finish Now, in homage to the Sultan of Silver, the lather is extracted and applied by hand. Again, we're applying quite generously to the face. And again, the key here really is being generous and it's almost like a soap. It never dries out. Sometimes you find soap uh, can dry out, but with the added rose water, it stays as a soft, malleable liquid. So you never see our soap drying out on the face, which can be quite common, and it isn't really uncomfortable, it shouldn't be uncomfortable, but it can dry out the skin somewhat. And we're very, very conscious of our clientele's skin. Want to make sure that you have soft, shining, and glowing skin. And that transcends gender. You know, we're long past the point of uh, anybody being judged for having good skin. Taking care of your skin is essential. Okay, leather looks magnificent. You'll notice through a very skilled hand, nothing is dripping off the beard, even though it's uh, slightly more malleable than your typical soap. We're losing nothing. Now, your very own Mallard's straight razor, untouched. And I must warn you that when you do take this home, it is extraordinarily sharp. So be careful, always shave with the grain. I would only advise shaving against if you're in, again, the hands of somebody extraordinarily skilled. Uh, and more than that, somebody that understands 
the contour and the gradient of your skin. All I'll be doing here is just pinching the skin back. And the follicle protrudes up. And we're taking very small strokes, mostly with the wrist, very little hand action, going with the grain. And your your hair, the beard is actually quite true. It's growing in the same direction, which unlike me, I this side of my face grows this way. This side grows in all different directions. I am a very difficult shave. Forgive me, sometimes I do marvel at my own handiwork. But it's only because I absolutely love sending you out looking your absolute best. Or at least the face looking the absolute best. We're defining a quite a clear line. It stands out. It's particular. It's inviting. that none of the foam, the existing foam, none of it has dried. So entirely soluble. Very good. Okay, I'm being very, very delicate here. Just working down the side of the neck. Working my way down. Just to And you'll notice that this blade, the mallard's blade, uh, because they're diamond tipped, they won't dull for a very, very long time, which uh, of course is why they come at a premium. <laughs> but uh, the diamond edge, while being extraordinarily expensive, is exceptionally tough and resilient, regardless of how coarse your hair might be. But given the products that we apply, uh, your hair razor slices like butter, or rather like a hot knife through butter, effortlessly and without any friction, as hopefully you're noticing. Good. Okay. There's a tiny little bit just on the bottom of the mustache. Just there. Good. Good. Now, this will be sanitized, returned back to your kit for when you leave here today. So this, the badger brush, the razor, the beard treatments, they all belong to you, okay? 
Now, your beard looks exceptional. Even if you had never considered even having a beard, even if you didn't think you had a beard, clearly you do. And uh, we will now uh, just set the beard. I mentioned this little, what we call finishing spray. It's sheer. And so this just um, locks the skin back up and really locks in those nutrients. Now, there is a, you can't really open pores with heat, but they do part very slightly and they are more, uh, more likely to absorb nutrients than if you were to apply a cold towel, for example. Okay, now with the water, we will be applying a slightly below again room temperature towel it's not cold but it's certainly not the warm towel you felt prior and this is just applied directly to the face and you can see this is this is quite soaked myself um, that is a good look a really good look good the uh, finisher spray um, it's actually scented very 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 slightly um, yes it's, uh, it's actually based on a similar formula to Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail a lot of, shares a lot of properties a little bit more restorative and a little bit gentler on the skin now, but a similar scent. Okay, now I think we get the hair tidied up. I don't know if you're an ASMR fan, but I certainly am. Okay, before we get cutting, I'm just gonna moisten the hair up, can make it more malleable and easier to work with. This is a nutrient water base. No aloe this time. We actually have a very small amount of chamomile in our water. It's easier on the scalp and uh, we are firm believers in the chamomile. Okay, we're really just really soaking the hair here. Good. Okay. We are good to start cutting your, your beard. I'm actually marveling. Um, it's a really, really good look for you. I'm really pleased with, with how that turned out. Okay. Now, while I am a master with a blade, I am a grandmaster with the shears. Now we use the Kobe comb. That's all we use. We are our, our hairstylists. Kobe fans. Uh, this is the Kobe stylist, <laughs> not to be confused. I'm just going to brush that water through. Let it get right to the scalp. Because sometimes we neglect our scalp a little bit. And that's okay. Because you can come to people like us. And they can take care of it for you. Alright. So I'm 
the fringe. How much do we want to take off the fringe? Okay, and what kind of style would we like to leave with? Uh, messy, parted. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. The, the hair between forefinger and middle finger and just snipping Something that our cruise line prides itself in offering um, a very soft water. It might sound confusing, but um, a lot of cruise lines, uh, the water that you're washing your hair with in your shower is quite hard. It's been treated quite heavily. Um, our water, again, we're paying at a premium. It's far softer. Having said that, we do still offer our VIPs the Fiji water to drink, but the, uh, the tap water and the shower water is actually uh, really like really lovely to drink. It really is, which again is rare for for any cruise line, regardless of how premier a cruise line is. Step around to the other side. Okay. Now I am a left-handed barber, which is somewhat unusual. But needless to say, the most skillful barbers are left-handed. My colleagues would kill me if they heard me say that, but uh, what to do? Very good. I've got a nice even cut there on the back. So we've cut the lines in on the beard. We've 
cut in the line at the back. It looks stylish. It looks precise. Precision haircuts are something that uh, some barbers specialize in, and when we say precision, we mean very, um, very stylish, very high fashion lines, very specific, quite bold lines. You might find a shaved line down the, the parting further accentuates, and they can be quite loud, but very corporate, uh, very sophisticated. Uh, I toned it in a little bit. Your lines are sharp, but we won't be shaving in the parting. I don't think you need it. You have a very handsome face, very pretty face, uh, and some people need to overcompensate. You don't need to. We're going to style the hair. It's going to look fantastic. Stay small. This is a very, very, very mild wax. Good. The hair's coming together very well. Easy to style. We want smart, corporate, inviting, but I don't want to be screaming at anyone. We don't need to. We're already perfect. Now you're just perfection with polish. Good. You have a setting spray it's not a hairspray but it will hold quite nicely um, ordinarily I go for a five hold but I think three or a four you're inside I think that's okay, this isn't a hairspray hairsprays are quite uh, quite chemical they can be quite crusty this is going to just have the, the hair locked in place, but without being your hair still soft. It's just going to hold its structure. Unlike hairspray that, that makes the hair go very hard, you could almost like break it with your fingers. Uh, our sprays do not, at least the threes, don't do that. They'll just hold as if your hair is in like a structure. It's still soft, still malleable. Good. Really good. Okay. I think we have done together a remarkable job here. Um, we'll finish you off with moisturizer. Um, this is a VLCC moisturizer, premium product. But not only is it premium, it's a uh, tan protect and it's a mulberry flavor. Flavor, don't eat it. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. We're gonna apply this quite liberally. Because although we've been very kind and very considerate to the skin, it has endured a lot today. And on the back of our session together, I'd like you to go back to your cabin and drink as much as you can of our delicious, or your delicious Fiji water. Even as our master barber, I'm not supposed to have access to the Fiji water because it is quite expensive. But I do, because that's how I roll. Just kidding. Not, but. And as a reminder, we have a no tip policy. Our wages are adjusted to reflect tips. So we encourage our customers to be cashless. We will not accept tip. And I, I find as a cruiser myself, it's so nice not to have to worry about tipping. And we, we don't expect to be tipping excellence because everything we do should be excellence. Everything we do should be worthy of tipping, which is why our wages are reflected the same. Okay. Meaning we're very well paid. <laughs> and being honest, being able to do what I do. Good. Stand for it. Being paid anything to do what I love is just remarkable. And the nose there. Good. Well, what do you think? 
The beard, I, I think I'm, I'm most happy with. The hair looks remarkable, stylish, informed, but the beard. And you could have sworn you didn't even have a beard when you came in, right? <laughs> Good. All right. Now, next, I'm gonna bring you a glass of water. I want you to sit just the next five minutes and relax and chill. And when you're ready, get up and maybe say, go back to your room, drink some more water. Think about getting ready for tonight's meal. And king prawns are my recommendation. Also, the cheese board. Some of the cured meats we have on this boat are ridiculous. Yeah. And if you have an opportunity, please try the caviar. Oh, you did. You did book. Okay. The tasting session uh, is, as its namesake, is luxurious. Uh, beluga caviar is obviously quite rare. Um, but not only is it expensive, but it's remarkable. Remarkable. You're going to really enjoy yourself. The, the luxury tasting is uh, one of my favorite things to do here on my off days. Yeah, I do. Uh, the cured meats are just... Remarkable. There's no other word for it. Thank you. It's great to meet you and uh, feel free to come by. All of our um, offerings today, all the work we do for you is entirely inclusive in the package. You can come and see me every day if you so wish to get the beard trimmed up, the hair styled, whatever it is, it's included in the VIP package. We are essentially at your disposal. <laughs> yes. That's only the case for the VIPs, uh, every other clientele, every other um, tier of customer, of course, pay um, the advertise rates. But VIP is literally all inclusive. Yes. Okay. No problem at all. Enjoy the tasting session and see you soon. Thank you. Hi, welcome along and welcome aboard. My name is Matt and you are our VIPs. Yeah, I could tell it when I looked at you, you have that look of refinement, classy, elegance. And I think you've been to our barber. You have that signature style that he likes to he only shares that style with, uh, well, neither the golden or the black pearl suite. Yeah. Again, my warmest welcomes. Now, you maybe been briefed a little bit about what we have in store today as I'm waving around a, an empty container, perhaps from your butler, your concierge. This is a soundscape. Something of a introduction to soundscaping and the world of 80 sounds. sounds. It's a relatively short session. The standard cabin has access to the soundscaping for a five minute tutorial session um, and it's a, a scale. Uh, so we're looking for kind of 15, 20 minutes try and squeeze as much as we can into the time and all I need from you really is just to pop on your cocoons that I guess by now you're fairly well accustomed to <laughs> they're remarkable I know I have a pair thankfully okay I'm just gonna hook up the Bluetooth your device okay now I have a little microphone on the inside of my lapel so everything I'm saying you should be able to hear. Good, loud and clear. Okay, now essentially what I'll be doing is creating sounds with uh, three different objects, maybe four, and blending them in a wave 
and it simulates almost a sphere moving from left to right, maybe even in a sphere. Okay, now we have four microphones set up here, each working in its own stereo. Microphone here, microphone here, here and here. Microphone one. All clear? Good. So, since it was in my hand, I'm going to very gently unscrew the lid. I'm going to capture that sound and I have a little mixing board here. I'm going to mix this into an 8D loop. Go. I'm going to leave that plane. I'm going to build on this layer. Okay, so now the sound I'll be making is live intertwined with what we just recorded. immediately silenced. We'll revisit the lit sounds. We'll uh, move on to another what we call trigger sound. Now this is the sound of a, and this is a very specific box actually. It's a hand engraved. sounds that we can utilize. And what happens now if we reintroduce
an interesting concept and our brain sometimes has a little bit of trouble accepting what it's hearing especially when the visual doesn't match the physical if that makes sense the audio channel of your brain is telling you that when I'm over here the sound should be here but it has sound over here and if we try to fight it it can get a little bit confusing what I would suggest is just close your eyes and enjoy the medley of sound there are people that uh, can experience ASMR from these kinds of soundscapes others just like the, the, the noise and that's fine just enjoying the sound is more than enough okay good okay let's move on to this is a much more subtle sound and I'm going to overlay the wood and the lid you feeling relaxed okay well the entire focus and mantra behind Cruz articulate is relaxation sleep peace and well-being now one of my most favorite sounds tapping of a glass case you will by now have received your free OnePlus 70 Pro let's loop this in as well maybe you'll try with the, the lid sound alone Similarly plastic sounding items. ears and brain remarkably recreate this It's almost as if we're conducting a symphony of sound, of sound, and it's that symphony that can have the most 
extraordinarily effective healing effect. It can immediately put us at ease. And it's actually fairly recently that sound therapy is um, being studied further and is actually beginning to see incorporation into modern medicine. The idea that our body can be physically affected by sound waves in a certain pattern, with a certain frequency. And it's a, it's a mind-bendingly fascinating topic. And for somebody like myself as a sound engineer, I'm obviously working from a cruise ship, I take enormous pleasure from weaving together these symphonies of very basic sounds. What I'm doing here isn't anything elaborate. The secret that I will share is that we add a little bit of reverb just to give it that echoed effect. If I was to perform it without reverb, it would lose, uh, well, one, it's its effectiveness, but it would lose that spherical sound that we can sometimes create in AD. The idea that AD um, and it's difficult to even imagine, and there is actually a 9D on top of it, but essentially AD is just a full circle around the head, and your ear recreates that sound very well anyway. So when the software and the hardware does it for us, your brain as I said, can be a little bit confused initially, but almost every time it's a very pleasant experience for the user and the listener. And as I mentioned prior, it can be used as the perfect sleep mechanism. Very often I saw myself lying wide awake in bed. load up one of these soundscapes and the beauty of them is they can be overlaid any over on top of anything you might be as I said an ASMR fan and you have an ASMR creator that you like to listen to maybe they're heavy into role plays maybe they like the, the first class flight attendant and train attendant style videos but the background isn't there no background sound you yourself can load up one of these tracks you can make your own track and use that as a, as a base plate for the video. You should contact the creators of these. I think they're really missing out on the idea of AD sound. Let's try uh, one final full medley. wish that we could spend a little bit more time together. Uh, feel free to come back and see me later in the week. Just speak to your concierge and even if I have no 
space in my schedule, we will make space. You are our VVIP and I have had the pleasure of stepping foot into the Golden Pearl and it is amazing, the shutters on the room. Uh, I didn't get to stay the night there, I just got to uh, see what was what. Oh, sorry.